We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower... I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, You've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! Now, let's show them why! Go! I've got this! I am Erdnot Rex! And this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Let's get in there! Alright, but before we start this... <laughs> yeah, I like keeping you guys in suspense. We are going to... Can we level up anything decent here? Hmm... Let's see. Incendiary ammo. Hell yeah. I mean, we use that all the time. Headshot damage by 25%. Alright, looks like we can get his concussive shot all the way up. Sweet. Ooh, that damn. That'll be good. Increased damage to organics by 100% over 10 seconds. Increased force by... I think the shredder is going to be the best. Hell yeah. And she's got three, but we're going to wait until we can get six so we can do a biotic. Let's do it. The Fenelix. Let's see what that one is. Or if it's any better, should I say. It's definitely not better than the Scorpion, but it's probably a little easier to use. And it's a lot, you know, weighs a lot less. We haven't even really used it. We're not going to change it, though. We'll stick with the Scorpion. However, though, we will change to it right now. We might as well start using it. Holy shit. Everyone all right? Fine. Hopefully. Oh, I think so. Did we just get shot by a Reaper? Consider that practice. 
<laughs> Hell yeah, look Make at sure this. I raised the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. Uh, man, you really know what you're doing, don't you? Just keep moving. Take the cover. Holy shit. Alright, let's do it. Hell yeah, it's crazy, but we're gonna do it. Oh! Dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for E, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosions likely to be problematic. Mort, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. <laughs> I'll miss you, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. <sighs> You're good Solarian, Moden. You're the man. Morning, Morning, 
That's it, guys. We lost our first squad mate since Mass Effect 1. Morden was a good man, a good Solarian, good scientist. He will be forever remembered. Amen, brother. time ago, my father betrayed me in this place, his own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him, right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to, animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Hackett, out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know.
Looks like we got another dream sequence ahead of us here. I'm just going to let this play out. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden, back on Vermeer. He died, buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, you might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... ...this won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Heard not Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the Genophage? 
Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Any word on the Volus and Alcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evrun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight. Though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Do you know anything about the Hanar and Drell? Their luck is holding. For now, the Reapers have avoided a direct invasion of that sector. Though we've heard Drell wetwar teams are mobilizing fast to shore up their border with the Solarians. I knew a Drell. The Reapers don't want to tangle with them. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out.